Hello there, Asha Frost, Indigenous Medicine Woman, author, speaker, healer, creator of this new deck, the Animal Elders Oracle. This is my deck that's coming out December the 3rd, so it's very soon, and it's now on pre-order if you'd like to order it. It really does help me as an author to get my medicine out in the world. The pre-orders count, they really, really do, so thank you to all who have already done that. And I wanted to offer us a reading for this full moon around this Animal Elders Oracle to show you a little sneak peek of it. So we are moving into the freezing moon time. And it really aligns with the teachings of this time. I know that we're moving into different traditions where the veil is thinning. And so in the freezing moon time, it's a similar teaching. The freezing moon comes out and the ancestors come closer to us. We feel that veil thinning. We have maybe greater dreams and visions. We can hear their whispers in our blood a little bit more clearly. This is a time where we're able to see and sense and feel the spirit world even more profoundly. So please, please be the dreamers, be the visionaries, activate your intuition and your sense of knowing and being during this time as those star nations get closer and as we get um, more expanded towards them and connected. During this time, the freezing moon also teaches us about energetic protection. So we have Mayingang, wolf energy in medicine, coming in this space as a guardian to say, let's take a little assessment about your level of protection. How porous or how rigid may your boundaries be right now? How open or closed are you feeling when you're interacting or relating with collective energies or familial energies or simply relational energies? What does your energy feel, field feel like right now? And is there any tweaking that needs to happen? Perhaps there's a little bit of cleansing and purification. Perhaps there needs some boundary setting. Perhaps there needs some internal energy of reflection of, you know, oh, you, oh, you know, I'm feeling a little bit wide open. I need to do this. Or maybe I'm feeling a little bit rigid and I need to soften. So it's a time of reflection to ask us those things. And I'm going to light a little bit of medicine as we talk about that. So we all need to be mindful of clearing and cleansing our energy fields all the time, especially now. There's so much going on in the collective. So as we remain more clear, we can remain more connected to what is our highest good, our highest nature, our connection to creation and humanity. We can remain clear in how we are meant to show up because of course, we are meant to show up in community. We are meant to show up for our kin. But as we clear out all of the projections and energies that aren't ours, then we become more clear with that. So I'm going to smudge the cards here. And again, this is from my deck, the Animal Elders Oracle, which is coming out December the 3rd. It's an animal spirit deck. And the elders are the animals because they are wisdom teachers. And so many of us have been colonized away from seeing elders as um, the gifts that they truly are. So I wanted to presence them and center them and make bring back the elder medicine. Okay, here we go. What do we need to know for this full moon, for the freezing moon? What do we need to know? Here we go. All right. So the first card we get is the snake. So we have elder snake coming through, which is transformation. So this is speaking to a time in our lives. We just went through the falling leaves moon last month. So we were doing a lot of shake up and shake out and releasing. And perhaps after that energy, we feel a little bit raw, right? So this snake medicine reminds us that as we transform and shed those layers and shed those skins and release what no longer serves us, we can take a little bit of tending time to be like, oh, I'm a bit raw. What do I now want to fill myself up with? How can I tend to myself with a warm blanket? How can I care for myself? Also knowing that you are going through huge transformation times right now. You are doing the work and it is working. So the snake is saying, okay, you committed to it. You did the tough stuff. 
And now you can lie in the sunshine, there's some sunshine out today, and you can soak up some of that to mend and tend to your new skin. So how are we doing that? Snake's asking. Snake's also a healer card. So it's a deep time of healing. Second one we got is the otter, elder otter. Elder otter says playfulness. This is play with joy. So you might have gone through an intense time with your healing uh, journey. And, and otter is here to really lighten it up. To say healing can be serious, yes, but how can we bring joy into it? How can we bring childlike wonder? It brings back that child self that knew how to bring joy into everything that they did. So Otter is here for you. May it be a joyful cycle and season for you. Uh, may you notice the little blips of joy that perhaps you bypassed in the past and may you root into that, especially during this time collectively. We need to look for the joy too. Last one is the Raven. This goes along with our freezing moon time. The raven says there is mysticism and magic and beauty all around you. The ancestors are close. The spirit guides are close. The spirit worlds and star nations are close. So amplify your spiritual practices at this time. Do your smoke medicine practices. Light your candles. Do your rituals and your ceremonies. It is time. It is potent time for that. Open up to possibility um, and to things really moving in your life. So here we go, snake. Honor the transformation you just moved through. You are healing, it is working. Play with joy. Add some lightness to that healing journey. That's going to be the key for this month. And then Elder Raven. Feel into that magic and mysticism at this time of the freezing moon. It's, they're coming close, they're coming close. So ask for what you need, pray, do your rituals. It's all contributing to your, whatever you're dreaming into being. I will leave that with you. And again, this is from the Animal Elders Oracle that is coming out December 3rd. The link to pre-order is below. And as always, I'm sending you all the love and all the gratitude. May you have a gorgeous freezing moon. And may this cycle be filled with everything that you are needing. Bye, my Bye for now. Thank you.